President William Ruto has urged KRA to treat Kenyans with dignity while demanding that they meet their tax obligations, saying this will facilitate effective revenue collection. The president, however, defended the tax collector, saying KRA was working on behalf of Kenyans. His statement coming in the wake of heightened criticism of the taxman owing to their move to tax travelers from international destinations found with items costing more than 500 U.S. dollars, which is an equivalent of about 75,000 Kenya shillings. Speaking during an event to mark the National Taxpayers' Day, President Ruto also warned leaders against using their influence and power to threaten KRA so as to evade tax, saying action will be taken against them. As Shemutai Goin reports, Finance and National Planning Committee Chairman Kuria Kimani revealed the committee's plan to review the regulations stipulating the taxing of items above $500. Amid the recent backlash targeting the Kenya Revenue Authority over its push to effect the East African Community Customs Management Act 2010, where international travelers jetting back into the country in possession of new items valued at more than $500 are required to pay tax and with constant claims of harassment by KRA officers, President William Ruto, who graced the National Taxpayers' Day event, called on them to treat Kenyans with respect and courtesy. KRA, I am sure, now knows that it is possible to be courteous, kind and gentle to taxpayers and at the same time become even more effective and efficient in tax collection. I am sure they know that. KRA fully acknowledges its profound responsibility to provide taxpayers with a conducive, efficient and effective platform for tax payment and compliance. I want to reaffirm our commitment to reforming our process and culture to deliver high quality and user-friendly services to our taxpayers. And though KRA has apologized to a couple that was harassed at the JKIA over taxation of a wedding gown, National Assembly Finance Committee Chairman Kuria Kimani reiterated his committee's intention to review the regulations to make them friendly. I therefore wish to assure our visitors and all travelers to this country that no new taxes have been introduced and that the process of our entry points is smooth and diplomatic and the customs officers of the KRA have been instructed to ensure this remains the process that is also seamless and should not mishandle our visitors and travelers. It's very important to recognize that if we have a restrictive environment that goes against your message out there that Kenya is open to do business, that we can come here visa-free and do business for the Republic of Kenya. Maybe those people might choose to go to other countries or our brothers, the hardworking brothers and sisters in, uh, in the diaspora who bring so much money in terms of remittances might not feel so much happy to come back home. The president warning influential personalities against using the power they will to harass carry officials and engage in tax evasion. Nobody should threaten KRA using their positions, using their connections, using their power for them to avoid paying tax. We must all pay tax. KRA was also commended for its renewed efforts to raise the country's revenue potential. A while ago the conversation was how much of the debt is allocated to even children who are not yet born public debt. I am happy that this time around we are having a conversation about not debt, but taxes. We cannot and we shall never be fully independent until we are able to independently fund our government and our budget through our own resources raised in the country. KRA surpassed their first quarter uh, generation of taxes by 45 billion shillings, equivalent to 8.4% increase in revenue growth. And this is truly recommendable. We shall continue working together and intensify our revenue mobilization quest that will ensure that we adequately finance the country's budget and support the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda better for a sustained economic recovery and a sustained economic vibrancy. 
President Ruto, while noting that the digitization of 13,000 government services had resulted in a surge in monthly revenues, with collections now totaling 9 billion up from 1.5 billion, he challenged government officials to ensure the monies were properly utilized. As a government that believes in accountability, we must give the institution of the Auditor General's office the necessary capacity, leeway and latitude for them to hold every government agency and every government ministry and the whole of government accountable to the people of Kenya through audits and make sure that we spend the people's money efficiently. Those who honoured their tax obligations were also awarded and recognised. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.